All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record track automation, such as volume, pan, or low pass information, using your keyboard knobs and sliders in the program Logic Pro 8. First thing you want to do is go to Logic Pro, set up an instrument. Any instrument will work for this. I have a synthesizer, and you want to record something. So we'll do that real quick here. Alright, now we have our loop, or not really a loop, a clip, and I'm going to automate some low pass information. It's going to filter out frequencies as I move the slider. A lot of techno music has stuff like this. So for this, uh, I'm going to EQ, single band, low pass filter. You can do it with anything, volume, pan, whatever, but we'll check this out first. Then uh, this is to open your uh, keyboard assignment settings. Hit Command L, and it opens this up. And all you need to do is click what you want to edit. In this case, we're going to edit the low pass filter's frequency. I did this before, that's why it was already selected. And it'll pop up right here. And then you just hit the slider or knob on the keyboard, just move it a little bit, that you want to assign to that. So I'm moving slider 1. And the health window pops up right in the way. And slider 1 is now assigned to low pass information. So close these. You can watch it in action by opening up your automation. Oops. Opening up your automation, hit low pass, frequency, move the slider a little bit, and we are now in control of the low pass frequency with the slider. Now, to record it, this is key, you don't want to hit record for some reason, you just want to hit play. But before you do that, you have to tell it that you want to record automation. So click down here, make that touch. And then hit play and move the slider and you're good to go. There you go. A little bonus, if you want to move this loop like later on in the song, use it a number of times closing the automation there for a second. Uh, say we want to put this loop like three or four times in the song. You don't want to record the automation every time. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can just copy and paste the automation, or you can go up to Options, uh, Track Automation, Move Current Track Automation Data to Region, and that'll tie it to that loop. You can move it around, you can copy it, whatever you want to do. And the automation is there to stay. You can add multiple automations for each loop. In addition, you can do that exact same thing I just did with the uh, volume information or the pan information or whatever. But uh, there you go.